Hey, Patrick with KY Gun Co. coming at you from a chilly and cold January day here in Central Kentucky. We're going to start unveiling some new rifles. This is the beginning of the year. It's 2024. And first up for this year is the brand new Beretta BRX-1, which is what I have here in front of me. Typically, Beretta is kind of known as a shotgun manufacturer and a pistol manufacturer. Yes, they own Seiko. Yes, they own Tika. But as far as the actual big game hunting rifle with the Beretta name on it, it's kind of been pretty absent in the market for as long as I can remember. So this is their entry. Like I said, this is the BRX-1. This is their newest big game hunting rifle that is a straight pull action as well. We're going to go over some of the features. As you guys zoom in, you'll see. First of all, this is a six, it comes in a 6.5, a 308, 30 out 6, and 300 wind mag for the first initial offerings. Like I said, this is straight pull, as you guys can see. But the cool thing about this straight pull too is it's ambidextrous and I'll show you this. So we can switch the right, the, the handle to the right hand or left hand. You can also choose which side you want the shell ejected out of, right hand or left hand. I'll show you, I'll go into detail with you that a little bit more in a second. Of course the safety is a tang mounted or essentially mounted safety. Again, good for right hand or left hand hunters. It's gonna come in a variety of different barrel lengths. They will be threaded, that's 5 8 by 24. A nice textured stock on it. This grip module right here is replaceable, so you can adjust that for your different hand sizes. It also, you can adjust the length of pull on the stock. And this is using the standard bread of spacers that they already have on the market for their shotguns and the standard bread of butt pads that they have on most of the other shotguns out there. But let me show you the, the bolt itself and how easy this is to change. Pops out simply by pushing that button down. You take a shell, push that down, the bolt comes out real easy for cleaning and disassemble. If you wanted to switch from left hand to right hand ejection, you simply slide that off, turn it 180 degrees, slide it back in there and slide it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to the way it was because we we're gonna shoot it here in a second. While that bolt is out, it, obviously if you're a left-handed shooter, you're gonna want this handle on the left hand side. You flip it over, again, using just a standard field tool or in this case, a bullet switch over here to your left side push that down again and now you have a left-handed rifle literally in 30 seconds using the same platform that we have just showed you it took Breda about seven years to design this from what we've been told this is all going to be built in Italy this is not an outsourced rifle by any means uh, seven years of design and testing and again, 100% Italian made. So this is not made in their factories where the Seikos and the Tikas are. Boat slides directly in there, nice and simple. And check out this adjustable trigger group assembly. It removes in seconds from the firearm. Simply the tip of a bullet can release the clip and it slides gently out of the firearm, super easy. It's adjustable, to, has three different weights to it two, two and a half, and 3.3 .3 pounds. Again, all adjustable, all removable, without any tools, and easily done within seconds. You will have some different optics interfaces. You have pick and tinny rails. They'll have some uh, Tika interfaces that work with it too. They're also gonna have some type of pr proprietary system. But the other cool thing to note is that this will have some caliber change swap kits. So meaning this, this whole barrel and the rail interface will come off. You can swap another caliber in there. I'm sure you're gonna have to swap the boat head out but dude, this will be a multi-caliber rifle. A lot of you guys are probably asking, why do we have multi-caliber rifles or why, why do we want this? In Europe, it's kind of a bigger thing. Uh, some European countries limit the amount of firearms one person can own. Sometimes they tax them on the amount of firearms that they have over there. So having one rifle that does multiple things is a big plus in the European countries. In the United States, not so much a big thing. As Americans, for the most part, we want a rifle for every little different thing that we do. So. Um, going to be a little bit of a, a, a test, I guess, for Breda in the United States market to see how this works. It has worked in the past. Thompson Center Encores have been pretty popular. Savage now has the impulse rifle out. But overall, this will be uh, Breda's first go at a big game rifle. So we showed you all the features of it. We're going to test and shoot it. we got a 100-yard target over our shoulder there. Uh, we have shot this rifle. We've shot it two or three times just to make sure we got it on paper for you guys, but we didn't fine-tune it and get it in there. We just simply bore-sighted it in there. Uh, we're going to see what type of groups this will produce. Uh, we, we didn't clean it. We didn't do anything special to it, but this uh, you'll probably see the, 
the second three shots out of this here in the next couple minutes. All right, today we're gonna to start off with two loads. Uh, Federal American Eagle 120 grain total metal jacket, just a basic economical 6.5 Creedmoor round, nothing fancy. All right, we've got two loaded in the magazine already. And check the magazine out. I didn't really talk about this in the, in the first part, but the magazine's obviously bright orange. And you believe it or not, there have been some hunters that have lost their mags out in the field before, thinking that the bright orange is gonna make it a little easier to find should you drop your mag or somehow come out of your rifle. And this also has two locking lugs, one on each side. So you cannot just only hit one side of that and drop that mag. You have to pinch it on both sides. And you can also tell that your mag's in the gun because you have a little spot there of orange there on the side. Kind of looks, gives a little cool look, look too. Also check out loading. I put two in the mag already. With the ample room that you have on either side due to the straight pull action, this gun can easily be loaded from the top as well. So load it from the mag or load it from the top. Either way you go. All right, first three rounds, like I said, this is, uh, you know, we bore sighted it with just with two rounds just to make sure it was close. Other than that, we really haven't shot it. We haven't cleaned it. It's pretty much out of the box. And as far as I know, this is a salesman's, I know this is a salesman samples rifle. The, our local rep dropped it off to us there, gave us a couple of days with it to shoot it. Uh, but as far as I do know, this is also an, I, you know, this is a production model that he was given uh, to go around show dealers just like us. But uh, I always like to tell you guys whether we pulled one out of inventory or, or if it was a salesman sample. So just being truthful, honest, and uh, straightforward with you. Also, we have a breezy day. It's uh, roughly, I don't know, five to seven mile an hour winds. It's 38, 39 degrees. And uh, we're just shooting some, some basic sandbags, nothing, uh, nothing fancy. So whatever accuracy results we get down there should be pretty uh, indicative of a real world test. All right. All right, we're going to switch to Federal Power Shock 140 grain. Just a solid whitetail load. This is a 140 grain jacket at soft point. Again, pretty economical, nothing uh, outrageous. We're not shooting premium ammunition out here to try to get the best results or premium results out of this rifle. We're just shooting kind of what most people are going to go put in this rifle if they're gonna go deer hunting or if they're gonna go target shooting. Again, I've loaded all these from the top. I didn't have to drop the mag out. Nice and easy to, to load. All right, three and three. Let's go down there and check our targets out. Like I said, it's a moderately windy day, as you guys can see. I don't know, seven, eight miles an hour, somewhere in the neck of the woods. All right, we were shooting off kind of a basic uh, shooting bench, nothing fancy, just some basic old sandbags. This was the first group that we told you about. This was the Federal American Eagle 120 grain, just some basic economical 6.5 Creedmoor stuff. A decent, about an inch, inch and a quarter group. Going to the 140 grain Federal Power Shock in the blue box. 140 grain jacket at soft point. Uh, inch and a half, inch and a quarter group, something along that line. Again, if you were going to go ammunition hunting and try to match the, the perfect ammunition for that rifle, you could probably improve those groups. And if you had a little bit better uh, shooting set up, but this is probably some real world groups that you can't expect out of the Breda BRX-1. If you guys ever watch the European channels out there, the European hunting channel channels, you always see the hunters. They're using a straight pull action. They're always hunting boars, driven game, that kind of stuff with straight pulls. And they look pretty easy on the shoulder to fire, manipulate, chamber another round, and keep on firing. So, you know, we did it on the sandbags. I figured, heck, well, I might as well just try them from the shoulder, just doing the straight pull, seeing how quick and easy it is to reload. For any of you guys that ever might have wondered how it was, because 
I'm wondering right now, I've never done it from the shoulder. All right, we got four in the mag. Four and out. Not bad, but I will tell you, it takes a little bit of confidence knowing that this, uh, this big boat's coming right back at your face. You see it coming back in there. So I think with a little bit more, a little more practice, you could, uh, and a little more confidence in the system, uh, a little more trigger time, you could probably keep your, keep your cheek down there on that cheek piece and uh, keep on firing. I don't know how accurately you could keep on firing at it uh, without, with a, with a scope set up like this, and maybe a red dot, something like what you see, like, again, a lot on the European style channels. If you're looking for a brand new rifle for this year, you'll want to try an entirely different platform. You want to go with a reputable manufacturer, an Italian manufacturer. This Breda BRX1 is going to be your ticket. It has an MSRP of roughly $15.99. I'm sure street price is going to be a little bit uh, below that, but I think it's going to be a solid contender if you're wanting to just try something different this year. As always, you can find this BRX1 and any other Breda product on our website at kygunco.com at either one of our two retail locations right here in Central Kentucky, one in Bargetown, Kentucky, and one in Louisville, Kentucky. As always, we appreciate you guys viewing. Let us know what you think about the straight pull action. Well, let us know how you think the American market is gonna to adapt to this and accept this. It is different, it's new. Not that straight pulls are not new, but for Beretta, this is new. Let us know in the comments, we're interested. We wanna know your opinion. It, uh, a lot of times it kind of dictates on how many of these we order, how heavy we go in on the buying programs. Uh, so we, we do rely on you guys. As always, we appreciate it and thanks for watching.